Hey, what's up guys? This is the Kafara Fulcrum, brand new pack uh, from Kafara International. I just got it a couple days ago. Been messing around with it. Uh, I have a bunch of accessories, uh, stuff I added on to it. So I'm gonna do a uh, review slash open box, whatever you wanna call it. I want you guys to remember that my reviews aren't your traditional review. I consider a good review, a review of somebody that has a product, uses it for what it's meant for, abuses it, how does it work, how does it last. Mine are more based on stuff that I have never needed before. So I'm accumulating stuff that I never needed to hunt here in Western Pennsylvania things that will allow me to go out west. I'm moving to Idaho here in a little over a month, two months, and uh, I'm trying to get all my gear together and I'm going through all the stuff that's available and then I'm choosing you know, what particular piece of gear I want from what company, what brand, whatever it may be. But uh, that's my reviews are based on that. So this stuff's all new to me. I've never needed a pack of this size, uh, this quality. You know, Typically I could use a small book bag for a day because I'm never really far from the truck, but anyway, so just a reminder, but this is the Fulcrum, uh, the newest pack, I, I believe it's the newest pack in the Kafaru line. Just got it the other day. Uh, I'm not gonna get into the crazy technical specs of everything, you know, inches and all that. I'm just gonna kinda go over it, what I've done to it, uh, what I have in it right now, and the, the, the space, why I chose it. So when I was looking for a pack, I wanted something as big as I could get it but would also pack down to like a day pack, you know, something that I could cinch tight and have like a day pack. This would allow me to use one pack for everything because I honestly, I can't go buy a pack for a day hunt and a pack for a three day hunt and you know, a pack for a 10 day hunt. So I just wanted something that I can kind of do everything with. So when this came out, I was uh, very excited about it. I saw it, I saw a couple pictures and uh, I questioned uh, so some people about it and asked, you know, what the details were. And when I first looked at it, it looked like the EMR2, which it kind of is a lot like the EMR2. It's got the two big side flaps, the big main bag in the middle. But it also has some uh, features like the Reckoning. And I really like the Reckoning. I just wanted something a little bigger. So the Reckoning has the center zip. It has all the webbing down here to add the pouches on. It has the handle on the bottom here. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to get too crazy into technical stuff. I'm just going to go over everything. If you really want a technical video, want to learn about this, uh, go to Kafara International's YouTube page. And Aaron actually goes into detail of all the technical specs. But anyway, this is it here. I got it all the way opened up. Uh, I don't have a whole lot in it, really, believe it or not. Uh, I just have a slick bag stuffed inside and then a whoopee stuffed in there. And then I have a couple of my you know, things inside here. But what I added on here, I have three medium belt pouches, one on the side, one on the back, one on this side. And then I added, up here's the guide lid. Um, and then the thing they did do with this pack, try to spin it around here, is I, I've seen in past videos that I believe the guide lid just clipped on and then you can adjust the straps. Well, this actually comes with two straps. I don't know if you're gonna see it. They're actually sewn in back here and you can leave them tucked in behind if you don't put a lid or anything on or you just use those straps and hook the guide lid. So it's fully adjustable. So nice feature. But I did the guide lid, the three medium pouches and then I have a small belt pouch here on the left side of my belt. And then on this right side, I just put the, uh, the Kafaro Nelgene holder, which I got my Mountain Ops bottle in. But uh, I figured that's gonna be pretty much everything I need. And there's enough room here to put my holster. So uh, basically, I'm gonna break it down real quick, take everything out of it, and then uh, kind of go through it a little bit and you know show you what I got going on. So the guide lid, right now I have my kill kit and my possibles pouch. So the kill kit, obviously, if I'm not hunting, if I'm just packing, I would uh, you know, take the, the uh, kill kit and I would leave it at home. I really wouldn't need that for anything. So on the side here, one of these side flaps zips open, it's a full zip. I have the uh, Q-Core, the Deluxe, that, that's a wide, it's not a long. So it's 25 by 72, and that fits right in there nicely. So. I don't have anything on the other side. So we're gonna snap this. Here's the guide lid. Flip it over. And uh, 
medium belt pouches. Uh, one of them I have my water purification stuff in. That would stay in the pack all the time, no matter where I go, whether it's uh, for hunting or a day hike or whatever. So I'm just leaving them in one of the medium belt pouches. The other two I actually have empty. But on the inside here, got three compression straps. I'm sorry I can't get everything in frame in my house. But full zipper here, and this bag is a beast bag. So it makes it real easy. Got the Wobi slick bag, and then I got my cook set down here at the bottom. So we gotta lay this down. Now inside of it, there's a piece of this uh, elastic fabric here, probably for, uh, you could put, uh, oh, my phone's beeping. You could put your, uh, uh, like platypus or whatever. I just have mine sitting in there. And then there's straps to hold it in place, you know, to put, and then there's this little bag, little zip bag, which would be awesome for like sticking your wallet or car keys or whatever, keeping it out of the way so you don't lose it. But I'm gonna zip it up and this is what I was talking about. Such a big bag and holds so much stuff. Flip this all together, strap it down, and it's actually pretty easy. I'm still learning my way around the bag because there are a lot of straps and components to it, but it's pretty simple. One more, there's three of them here. So now I have that cinched down pretty good. And now it's really not that big. I can take the guide lid off if I want or leave it on. It's, I got it, there's clips that come with it so I can just unclip it, take it off. And then I got the lid up here. Come down over and then there's the two lower straps to strap it in if I want to strap it in that way. But it's really, now it's a small pack. You got the two side bags here. You could put a belt pouch up top if you wanted to and then you have my three belt pouches down here. So my idea was I wanted to put a pack together that I could customize, whether you know I wanted it for rifle hunting. Uh, if it's rifle hunting, you just unzip the center pouch, belt pouch, slide the butt down in there, lay the rifle right in the center, strap it in. It ain't going anywhere. So I could use it for that archery hunting. It looks like the cam will actually fit right down in the bottom handle here and do the same deal. Strap it in, it's not gonna go anywhere. So I could pretty much do whatever I want with this pack, uh, whether it be for cardio exercising, or like I said, I, you could do a 10, 12 day hunt out of this pack, it's so big. You get to where you wanna go, and then you can pretty much you know, collapse it down, minimize your stuff, lighten it up, and uh, you know, it's a great day pack. Now, there was some big plastic pieces inside the side flaps. They were intended to keep it more rigid. Uh, just messing around with it, they do have some weight to them. You know, the rigidity was nice, but I don't think it's necessary. It, uh, I was able to, you know, maneuver the bag and fill it, unfill it, like there's nothing in it now, and they stay pretty, you know, pretty stiff. They're not going anywhere. So, anyway, yeah, the rest of the stuff on here, I'm sure you guys have all seen. If you want any technical aspects, like I said, just go to Kafaro's YouTube page and, uh, Check that out there and gets into good detail on the fulcrum. So, but anyway, guys, I appreciate it. If you have any questions, comments, let me know. Thanks. Hey guys, I'm Lou Rosito with Getting Lost. I just wanted to take a second and say thank you very much for taking the time to watch my um, not so great video. I'm working on it, I promise. I, I hope to continue to make uh, the quality of the video a little better and come up with some cool t content and keep uh, pumping out videos, uh, hopefully at least twice a week. Uh, it's been a little rough right now because I am still living in Pittsburgh. Uh, the house is in shambles. We got everything, you know, almost packed up and ready to go. Hopefully I'll be out there by late summer. Uh, but anyway, please take a second and subscribe to my YouTube page. Uh, getting Lost. Also check me out on Instagram and Facebook. Both of those are still Getting Lost. And uh, my website, uh, GettingLost.com. Gonna have a bunch of cool content. Uh, all the reviews, all the videos are gonna be on there. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, any recommendations, uh, please contact me, Lou at GettingLost.com. Thanks very much.